Hello everyone and welcome to some setup for what will be my next Let's Get On With It, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire session. Before I get started, I need to make some changes to the configurable rules uh, file for the expansion that is alphax.txt that can be located in the folder where you install the game. That's right! To <laughs> If you want to highly imbalance the game or alter many of the fundamental rules of the game, all you need is Notepad or another basic text editor. They'll be good to go. You know, something that doesn't reformat the whole damn fucking file. So, uh, there are some changes that need to be made before I get started. The first thing is, uh, I guess I'll cover what I've changed from the standard rule set. Um... There's this one here, which is a combat modifier for attacking along a road. That needs to be changed to zero. As has been showcased on multiple occasions, that is broken. And uh, apparently everything on the entirety of planet, at least on land, is treated as a fucking road. Not quite what I'm going for. There are combat modifiers and a combat penalty for attacking from higher or lower elevation. I'm going to be keeping those. In addition, there's a combat modifier for defending versus mobile units, like a speeder whenever you're an infantry unit, in the rough. I'll be keeping that as well. Now, other things I need to change are retool strictness. You'll see that here I have uh, it set to be number one, which is free in category. I forgot that I had you know, I had it modified like this until the Miriam game. What that should be is 2, which fits with the standard rules of the game, which is free. Uh, retooling uh, your base production is only free if it's from one secret project to another. You can set it to always free, and you can set it to never free. As a note, uh, I, the first two difficulties of the game, I believe, allow you complete flexibility so that you can retool as much as you like without penalty. But you can modify it to always free. And another thing that's different from the standard files is frequency of global warming. I don't like global warming. I hate huge sea maps. I'm more of a uh, person who likes to play on land. So I take care of the global warming thing, or I took care of it rather, <laughs> years ago whenever I modified this file by setting it from 1.1 to 1.4. I'm going to change that and set it back to 1.1. And hopefully God sorts it all out and I don't have a headache. And there are lots of other things you can change as well. The technologies that change various aspects of the game. How many minerals you get from harvesting a forest. Uh, the game does warn that, uh, you know, Many of the items, you know, on this list have been finely balanced and changing them, like if I doubled movement rate along roads, would vastly change how the game is played. Let's see what else we're looking for here. There's terraforming improvements, resource information, covering the world builder, world sizes, tech tree, uh, the chassis that you can use whenever you're, de you're designing units in the workshop, Reactors, weapons, armor, special things, morale, the units themselves, facility, you know, the basic, um, these cover your, um, oh god damn it, your chassis types, as well as some special units that you can't design, like battle ogres. And list of base facilities as well as secret projects. What I'm looking for here is the socio-economic engineering scale where I'm going to be making some changes here to fit along with the game I'm going to be playing uh, next. Um, the leader that I have in mind, you know, he's all fine and well but as I've proven, um, I think it's thinker difficulty that I've been playing on I've been handling uh, what's come my way pretty well thus far and I would like to give myself an additional challenge. In addition Will you shut the fuck up? Hold on. There should be a rule stating that all dogs caught barking during a non-emergency situation. While well, I'm recording videos from the internet need to be choke slammed. Not shot, just choke slammed. <laughs> they can still live. 
but we're choke slamming them. Anyway, a train now, too. <laughs> what a great money. Now that I have choke slammed the train, let us try this again. So as I was saying, I will be modifying the standard uh, socioeconomic, you know, the social engineering choices. As a fair reminder, if you choose to modify these, they can have a drastic impact on how they can have a drastic impact on the game. For example, if you were to remove all the police and planet penalties from free market and just have it plus two economics, or rather plus two to your economy, which will give you plus one energy to each of square and the basis fat cross. Yeah. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is uh, visiting police state here and changing this from a minus two efficiency penalty to a plus two efficiency bonus. How much of an impact on the game that will have, I cannot say. But all I know is that personally, I as a player will not be able to experience that selection. Doo -doo -doo. It is a mystery. I've saved the file, and there is one more thing I need to open, which I failed to do so before starting this recording. So BRB lol. Welcome to the special faction file regarding the human hive. Chairman Shinji Yang here. Well, you know, this is his file anyway. And this covers uh, his starting advantages and disadvantages, what will pop up during uh, diplomatic endeavors, the names of his bases as well as sea bases, the blurb that pops up along with the various data link reports, and what happens during uh, faction truces and treaties. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is... I can't believe I'm about to do this. <laughs> I'm interested to see what kind of impact that will make upon the game. You see this social minus two economy modifier? Yeah, you know how efficient and um, <laughs> energy spending, you know, capitalist, um, communist police states are, right? You guys know all about that, right? You, haven't you heard? Oh yeah, communism's the best thing ever since sliced bread, sliced pepperoni, even. Oh my god! And there's all this sort, all this economic freedom to be found, you know, private government systems and everything, totally. It all exists. Well, it will exist for this game. <laughs> now, of course, I'm not going to be playing as Chairman Shinji Yong, but after um, his lackadaisical uh, performance last game, I'm not even sure if that was the correct word choice, after his uh, poor showing, I've decided to supercharge the human hive as they play a very certain, very certain, man, my word choices are bad today, fucking Monday, a very special faction to, um, <laughs> well, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, uh, you guys will definitely see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close up this, and I'm going to boot up the game, and uh, I'll see you again in such a short while. I paused this recording way too many times already. Fuck. Okie dokie, everyone. Let's get started, shall we? Starting game, I will elect to customize a random map here. Again, we are going standard size. I will pick 30 to 50% uh, ocean coverage again. Well, I don't know. Standard planet, maybe we'll do uh, middling here, 50 to 70% this time. Uh, average erosive forces, abundant life forms this time. Average cloud cover, and of course, thinker difficulty. Customizing the rules here, I will... Mm, I will enable blind research this time and take off supply, uh, this option here. Blind research is initially enabled whenever you start the game. It was a, a great way to uh, give a feel for the game here. And that uh, whenever you're researching technology, you're not sure exactly what you're supposed to be going for. You know, technological break breakthroughs tend to be accidental in real life. Like, oh, hey, that's an amazing idea, law. Why didn't we think of this before? It removes some of the strategy of the game and being able to beeline for technologies. 
On the other hand, it does make it have like more of a realistic feel, and the game is harder for the player, I think. It's been a long time since I played with blind research on. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. But yeah, I've allowed supply pods to be scattered all over the planet. I'm still leaving random events off. That shit's aggravating as fuck. Now, um, if you, if you guys were paying attention the first eight minutes, you know that, um, we have a supercharged uh, hive here and a supercharged police state. I'm going to be playing with the original seven factions again, and this time, I'm, are you fucking kidding me? This time, I'm going to be playing with Commissioner Provin Law, or as he styles himself after Planet Fall, Brother Law. Originally of the United Nations Space Authority, he was the Unity Ship Surgeon. Yeah, yeah, he's a, you know, he, he's a proud supporter of humanitarian ideas as well as democracy. And he starts with biogenetics, which immediately gives him access to constructing recycling tanks, which is useful. It also put, would put him on a beeline for, um, Secrets of the Human Brain, which I highly doubt I'll be able to get first now that I'm turning on blind research. Minus one efficiency? That's something you can shrug at. Democracy will take care of that. Extra talent for every four citizens? Highly useful. Make C have complex population requirements? By two? Highly useful. Receives double votes in elections for planetary government and supreme leader? You've kind of seen how uh, effective that can be and may not use police state politics. So every other faction in this game will have access to uh, using police state. You know, the socio, the social engineering choice that I supercharged, but I won't. Matter of fact, the human high will actually start with Doctrine Loyalty, which will allow him to switch into it on turn one if he's so able to. And as we all know, that economy penalty does not exist. Oh boy, everyone. Let's get started, shall we? Now, I guess one thing I should do first is just check to see that if my changes have been made properly. So I'm actually going to boot up here, uh, I'm going to boot up Yang, just for a minute. To see, to just to check to make sure that the changes that I put in place were put in place. So yeah, mm, commendable efficiency, plus two economy, oh boy, it's going to be fun. Some of you might be complaining, but the game's not pure! Why are you tweaking the files like this? Because, you know, really, I am playing these games for me. Um, the, these sessions that I'm recording are just recording simply because of the fact that I was going to play anyway. And I can either choose to record those or not to record those, and I decided, what the hell, I'll share them with you. But I was gonna play the game any fucking way. So, if you don't like that, well, that's understandable, then fuck you. <laughs> uh, I noticed also there are people complaining about, They're uploading too many videos, Grimms. I'll remember that in the event that I ever stop uploading videos, and people are like, Why are you not uploading videos anymore? Well, I uploaded so many, I overloaded people's systems, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm a dick, I know. I, I, will, I will deal with this, sure. Brother Lol... Ah, uh, humane. Uh, fuck. You have no idea how painful this one is for me, folks. It's like, damn it. Fucking lol. You've heard how much I've complained about him, so. This is definitely a compromise, but you know, one which will be uh, challenging, I think. Not only because I've supercharged Young, but I'm not used to playing as lol. Now, Law really doesn't have a huge set of advantages or disadvantages. As I noted there, uh, whenever I was reviewing him, there's not an incredibly strong area that he has, except for vote for planetary governor and supreme leader. While all the others, and let's see if I can pull up a fucking, uh, you know, a better view of him, faction profile here, peacekeeping forces, I mean... Well, let's say the University of Planet has research to fall back on, and the Lord's Believers has, fuck you, I'm gonna kill you to fall back on. And the Human Hive has incredible amounts of bases and ability to produce an incredible amount of units to zerg you like a fucking anthill, an ant colony. 
Peacekeepers really don't have that. It is up to the player to spin him into, you know, having an advantage there. On the bright side, he doesn't really have much way in inherent weakness. The minus one efficiency is laughable. It's not a big deal, and that's his only penalty. Everything else is gravy. So we're going to see what I can do here. Uh, my first base, I mean, that's going to be along a river site. This looks like, you know, potential uh, forest land. And we have access to, I presume, the ocean through there. So I'm going to go ahead and place you in headquarters right here. Woo! I'll go ahead and construct a scout patrol. No. This will allow me to get an earlier start on completing the recycling tank, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It seems like it would be advantageous to me. Now let's hope I don't get screwed here in my pod popping and pull out a bunch of fucking mine worms. Alien artifact. That's cool. Now I'm going to go follow the river here, and uh, hopefully get taken to a prime city location that way. The river allows for quicker movement, and hopefully I can take advantage of that. Now, since I have blind research on, I have to uh, help my peeps figure out what they should focus on doing. I'm going to have them go for exploring here, for colonization and population growth. Hopefully the first one that they pick up is Centauri Ecology and not fucking Doctrine Mobility. Hopefully, we'll see. It's been a long time since I played with Bryant Blind Research on. Oh, Jesus. Really? If you can discover a better way of life than oh, my God. She's right there? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Really? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Next time, on Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, Alien Crossfire. Oh, Jesus.